Assad regime's warplanes never cease bombing opposition-held areas. The footage here comes from the southern provinces of Damascus, where the regime claims its militias are fighting ISIS, while the terror group is reported to be only in the Armuk camp, where thousands of Palestinian refugees are besieged for years between the rock and the hard place. Al-Qadam, Al-Asali and Hajar Al-Aswad are heavily targeted by the regime barrel bombs. Few reports are coming from the Armu camp. The regime says it makes progress on the ground, while still photos posted on social media prove the opposite. Amid this bombing campaign in southern Damascus, the regime minister of reconciliation Ali Haider said all opposition held buckets in northern homes will soon surrender. Everybody knows that today there are attempts and we started to send leaflets and communicating. Hard work is needed to accomplish our job in the northern and northwestern suburbs of Homs, Rastan, Talbise and Hula. Ali Haider's statement leaflets were not sent to Homs' northern countryside, but the barrel bombs were dropped. Four regime airstrikes hit Homs province's Arrastan city on the 25th of April, where White Helmets rescuers published footage online of what they said the aftermath of the airstrike. Similar attacks were reported in the north. Five civilians were killed and at least seven others were critically injured after a regime helicopter conducted an airstrike on the town of Marrat Hurma in Idlib province. The airstrike also resulted in material damage where some houses were leveled to the ground. UN High Commissioner for Refugees Filippo Grandi said a war now in its eighth the year risked devastating Syria's population so whose suffering he described displaced. as one of the worst ordeals in, even those in modern history. Are becoming less and less. We've seen it towards in, in the most dramatic phase of the Ghouta offensive. Uh, so the, the, the country is becoming a trap, is becoming in some places a death trap for civilians. And I, I really hope that countries around the world that are so worried when a thousand refugees arrive realize that there's an entire population out there that cannot even bear refugees anymore that is suffering from one of the worst ordeals in modern history.